Hello everyone, welcome you all to the Indus Business School. Today we have with us Mr. Rahul Agarwal. He is Vice President, Ernst & Young LLP. Welcome to the Institute, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Sir, you had an interaction with our students. How was the experience? I think the experience was good. It was, uh, the students were really participative. I was trying to understand the set of students, what is their work experience like and what is their educational background uh, before they came into India. Uh, and uh, what I understand is that most of them, I think 60% of them have some kind of experience they would have, have they would have done internships or have worked in some of the other corporates. I think which helped them, uh, you know, to understand what we are talking in terms of technical aspects when I'm talking about, you know, particular sector or a particular function. They're able to grasp it better, understand it better. So what tips you would like to, like to give to them so that like they can be adjusted in the corporate world easily? In future, I mean, if anyone is looking for a career into consulting per se or in any other corporates, I think it's very important to have an uh, understanding to these two three things. They are very basic. One is like having a problem solving mindset. It can be, uh, it's not something that you are, you know, you are born with this, but you have to hone this skill. How you can do that is you do a lot of business case studies. You practice that. You practice more about it and. Gradually, you develop a mindset wherein you understand, you perceive a problem in a framework model. You deconstruct that problem and help in driving uh, to get into a particular solution for that problem. So that is how you develop the problem solving uh, mindset. Second is, you have to have an understanding of business analytics. As basic as MS Excel you know, or MS PowerPoint, these two, I think, uh, are a really good tool which can be leveraged for a lot of good things. As we move ahead, there can be other uh, tools like a Power BI or, or, or a very advanced tool like Python and all, wherein you, it helps the student to draw insights out of a data set, which can be used for the betterment of a, of a particular business or a particular situation. The third thing can be improving communication skills. Now, I might be knowledgeable, right? I might have certain skill sets, but what if I'm not communicating effectively? It is not getting relayed to the person on the other side. So if I'm on consulting side or any, any of the corporates, I need to have that good communication skill wherein I can uh, relay my thoughts in a better and effective way so that uh, you know, the person understands the problem and the, the understands the situation and, and can uh, see how, how we can you know, leverage a, a, particular, a particular solution. And lastly, I would say reading. Like, uh, or, or I would say, you know, getting an understanding of the market or uh, having some kind of technical understanding, which can come through something as basic as reading newspapers, you know, getting aware of uh, things surrounding, uh, surrounding. And they have to have a very inquisitive mindset, which again comes through reading, right? So, for example, if, say, uh, if I see a, co a promotional message from a company, that okay, so for example, if I'm a company suddenly saying that uh, you can uh, book surgeries from me, that does mean you have to think that, okay, this company was in e pharma now suddenly uh, offering surgical solution. So what they might have done, have they acquired a, uh, any company into that space or they would have, you know, built in capability in that space. So we need to think or have that inquisitive mindset to connect dots, which might help me, you know, to uh, and, uh, have a very holistic view. And that is how we grow as professionals in, in whichever field we choose. Yes, sir. Sir, how networking also plays an important role? Like, like, do they like should play? Like, they should also build a network in these two years so that they can like uh, have a good network. Is networking is very very important? I think network is the utmost important thing. Uh, what uh, you know, uh, any professional should look forward to. As a student, uh, now we have multiple options. Right? There's social media. There's like everything on phone. We know like. Uh, who's working at what company at what level we can reach out to them we can seek help and most of the people if you have if you have approached in a right manner people who tend to help you people who tend to guide you and uh, you know uh, show a road a road map wherein you can you know uh, uh, solve a particular problem so networking that way helps it and do not and um, uh, never ever when you are networking, do not go with the problem. You try to understand and try to strike a rapport with the person. You, you, uh, and it again comes with you know uh, understanding the person, understanding the the mental mind the person is having, 
and uh, and some kind of also research in, on on what the person would have done in the past or uh, uh, so that might help you to ask relevant questions or connect on relevant topics with the person and uh, network better with the person thank you so much sir thank you for joining us thank you